The Commuter, the newest movie starring Liam Neeson. It's just okay. It's not excellent. It's good fun entertainment, I guess. It's some action. There's some kind of twists to it. Basically, the premise is Liam Neeson is a commuter. He's a regular commuter on this train, and he travels it every day for the last 10 years, from his home to work, from work back to home. And a stranger approaches him on the train and posits a hypothetical situation. And he, Liam Neeson, can stand to get rich if he does this thing. And now he has to decide will he or won't he. It's mildly exciting. It, it, it's a fun watch. I would say if you're going to see it in the theater, you see it as a matinee or you just rent it. I don't think it's worth the full price of admission. There's one fight scene that happens and I find myself just kind of tilting my head a little bit and like, I'm not really sure if this is real or if it, the camera is sped up. It was just, it was odd because some points it looked like complete CGI and then other times it looked like real actors, but sped up to an unnatural speed of with the film. So I'm not sure exactly what was going on and how they achieved that effect, but it definitely stood out as kind of one of those, eh, well, okay. The commuter doesn't have a lot of twists and turns. I mean, it has a twist at the end. You probably see it coming in some way, shape, or form, but it's okay. I give the commuter three out of five couches. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.